principles. Um, I guess purity of audio. To do as little as possible uh, correction to a speaker. We spend time getting the driver and enclosure or waveguide combination as correct as possible. To, to have a speaker that, that can be used um, without any EQ, um, without DSP. A loudspeaker and an enclosure and a horn is a, is a system and everything has to be in balance. And uh, we try to find those balances. Um, we don't use corrective EQ. To me, that's sort of mission of failure, actually. Um, I come in the beginning when I started, uh, there wasn't equaliser, it certainly wasn't DSP. And EQ had only just been invented. And it, nobody even thought about taking a loudspeaker and then adding, you know, corrective EQ to it. You had to get your speaker right, and I still think that's the right approach. If you apply system EQ to a loudspeaker system, what you do is you apply a characteristic to everything that comes through that system. So if you're mixing a show, then everything, every channel of your mix will have that characteristic uh, that EQ gives. So what happens is that every part of your mix tends to come from the same place. It sounds like it comes from the same place. If you can leave the system very flat and then mix with your mixing desk, uh, then each correction that you do is specific to that channel and things can come from different places and your mix has more space. We also work on high efficiency. If you get a good conversion of the amplifier energy to, to acoustic output, then you don't have to push it so hard, distortion levels stay low, um, use ele less electricity. It's, uh, I can't understand why anybody would think anything else, to be honest. It's so obvious that you've got to get a good conversion. Your typical loudspeaker is only about, the ones in your living room are about two or three percent efficient, that's all. And with good horn loading, good horn loading you can get to maybe 30 percent efficiency. But it's a bit like when you, um, when you take an engine and you make it very high performance, it starts to get wild and you, it, not so easy to control. So I think a lot of people don't do horn loaded systems because they're, they're actually very, they are wild and you don't, it's hard to get a flat response or an even response, shall we say. Flat's impossible. I don't know anything that's ever been flat. Um, so I guess those, those are my principles. Something that I'm always uh, trying to hear from speakers is the sound is that the speaker isn't there, that the sound should be between me and the speakers or, or anywhere else, but the sound shouldn't appear to come from the speaker. We firmly rooted in the idea that it's the people on the dance floor or the people in the concert room who are the, are the important ones. So we do this to, to make their enjoyment as much as possible.